So, earlier today, I received these really nice hex rings from Max Throw House in uh, Fort Scott, Kansas. Berserker Circus as well. Four inch, three inch, two inch, one inch. I was fortunate enough earlier to sink the pin the one inch ring in three throws. It made me think of a game that I sometimes play by myself, um, but it can be played with multiple people or other people online. Um, I'd like to show you the gist of the game. It's really trying to sink the smallest ring or pin the smallest string in the fewest number of throws. You take a, a, a distance that you can decide or it's arbitrary. For me, it's two and a half meters. And um, I'm going to take intervals of five. I have to try and, and, and have, in five throws pin the ring. And the idea again is to pin the smallest ring. So see if I can do this in five throws. There's one. Two. Okay, so I, I somehow got it in three again. So now everybody else, everybody else uh, who has a turn now must get it in three or, or, or I win. I'm out of the game first. Okay, I caught the smallest ring, so I'm out of the game now. But somebody could ostensibly in their first turn pin it on the first throw. So they would, they would be... Uh, out of the game second, but have won the game because they did it in the fewest number of throws. But let's say I missed. Okay, so that's a miss. Okay, so now that's three throws without without a without a capture. There's four. Okay, so we're pretending this is my turn. This is my fifth throw. No capture. No capture. Okay, so no capture. So now when it's my turn again, after my five throws, it'd be the next person's turn. When it comes back to my turn, I have five throws. I have to move on to the two inch ring because I didn't get the one inch ring. So again, I have five throws. One. Two, three, four, thought I had it there. Five. So I didn't get the two inch ring in five. When it's back to being my turn, I'm on the three inch ring. Three inch ring in five. Okay, so there's one throw, I captured it. So I captured it in my five. When it's back to being my turn, now it's the next person's turn. Now I'm back at the two inch ring to get it in five. One, two, ooh, I thought I had that one that was lining up perfectly. Is that three? Looked like it was just going to hover there like an angel. Four. I haven't got it yet. Might be back to three if I don't nail it here. Pin her down. Okay, so I didn't get it. I'm back to three. 
When it's my turn, of course, it'd be the next person's turn. Back to three. I need five to sink it. It's one. Okay, so I got it. Next turn. When it's my turn again, I'm on to the two inch ring. I have five throws. When it's my turn, over rotate. Otherwise, that was mine. Okay, so I caught the two inch ring. Now when it's back within my turn, I'm back to the one inch ring. This is my opportunity to get out of the game. If I can get it in five throws. If I can't, I'm back to the two inch ring. I probably won't get it in five throws, but let's just go for the sake of argument to see if I can get out of the game. Five throws for the one inch ring. That's one. I actually caught it. So now I'm out of the game. Okay. Now, obviously the people that got it in the first round without having to go up and down the chain, they, they're out first. They win. Right. But, now I'm out, so you play until everybody's out, or however you want to play it. But fun little game for me. I, I don't know if you like it at all, but it uh, can be very challenging. Um, let me just show you something here. Okay. Nice little capture there, right? Great. You see the, the hex rings, it's nice. I, I thought of this game because it's a nice stage-wise progression with the hex rings. And, and they're actually nice to throw, they're easy to see. But it, it can be done with any.